Hello everyone, welcome to this Electronics Engineering Licensure Exam Reviewer. In this video, we will be covering 50 questions and answers related to various topics in electronics engineering. Whether you're preparing for the upcoming Electronics Engineering Licensure Exam in the Philippines, or just looking to improve your knowledge and skills in electronics engineering, this reviewer will help you achieve your goals. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. What is the purpose of a Zener diode? A Zener diode is used for voltage regulation in electronic circuits. What is the difference between an NPN and PNP transistor? An NPN transistor is a type of bipolar junction transistor where the majority charge carriers are electrons. A PNP transistor is also a type of bipolar junction transistor, but with majority charge carriers as holes. What is the function of a transistor? A transistor is used for amplification and switching of electronic signals. What is the difference between an AC and DC voltage? AC voltage is a continuously changing voltage, whereas DC voltage is a constant voltage. What is the purpose of an op amp in a circuit? An op amp is used for amplification and signal processing in electronic circuits. What is a digital signal? A digital signal is a discrete signal that takes on only a finite number of values. What is a binary code? A binary code is a system of representing data using only two digits, 0 and 1. What is an oscillator circuit? An oscillator circuit is a circuit that produces a periodic output signal without the need for an external input. What is a rectifier circuit? A rectifier circuit is used to convert AC voltage to DC voltage. What is the difference between a series and parallel circuit? In a series circuit, components are connected end to end whereas in a parallel circuit, components are connected across each other. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points. What is Kirchhoff's voltage law? Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the sum of the voltages in a closed loop in a circuit is equal to zero. What is Kirchhoff's current law? Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of the currents entering a node in a circuit is equal to the sum of the currents leaving the node. What is the difference between an inductor and a capacitor? An inductor stores energy in a magnetic field whereas a capacitor stores energy in an electric field. What is a Schmidt trigger? A Schmidt trigger is a circuit that generates a digital output based on the input signal's voltage levels. What is a logic gate? A logic gate is an electronic circuit that performs a logical operation on one or more input signals to produce a single output signal. What is the function of a microcontroller? A microcontroller is a type of computer on a chip that is used for control and monitoring in electronic systems. What is the difference between a microcontroller and a microprocessor? A microcontroller is a complete computer system on a chip that includes memory, input-output peripherals, and a processor. A microprocessor, on the other hand, is only a processing unit without any peripherals. What is an EEPROM? An EEPROM is an electrically erasable, programmable, read-only memory. What is a shift register? A shift register is a circuit that shifts digital data from one position to another in a serial manner. What is a multiplexer? 
A multiplexer is a circuit that selects one of several input signals and outputs the selected signal. What is a demultiplexer? A demultiplexer is a circuit that takes a single input signal and selects one of several output signals based on a control signal. What is a flip-flop? A flip-flop is a digital circuit element that can store one bit of information, which can be used for digital memory or control signals. What is a counter circuit? A counter circuit is a digital circuit that counts clock pulses and generates an output signal based on the count. What is a timer circuit? A timer circuit is an electronic circuit that generates a signal that changes state after a certain amount of time. What is a phase-locked loop or PLL? A phase-locked loop is an electronic circuit that generates an output signal with a frequency that is synchronized to an input signal. What is a voltage regulator? A voltage regulator is a circuit that maintains a constant output voltage regardless of changes in the input voltage or load. What is a power amplifier? A power amplifier is an electronic circuit that amplifies a low power signal to a higher power level for driving a load such as a speaker. What is an op amp comparator? An op amp comparator is a circuit that compares two input signals and generates an output signal that indicates which signal is larger. What is a transducer? A transducer is a device that converts one form of energy into another form, such as converting a physical parameter into an electrical signal. What is a thermistor? A thermistor is a type of resistor that changes its resistance with changes in temperature. What is a photoresistor? A photoresistor is a type of resistor that changes its resistance with changes in light intensity. What is a piezoelectric sensor? A piezoelectric sensor is a type of sensor that generates an electrical signal in response to mechanical stress or vibration. What is a Hall effect sensor? A Hall effect sensor is a type of sensor that detects the presence of a magnetic field and generates an electrical signal. What is an optocoupler? An optocoupler is an electronic component that isolates two circuits electrically while allowing them to communicate through light signals. What is a breadboard? A breadboard is a type of prototyping board used for building and testing electronic circuits. What is a printed circuit board or PCB? A printed circuit board is a board made of insulating material with conductive pathways etched onto its surface, used for mounting and connecting electronic components. What is the purpose of a diode? A diode is used to control the flow of current in an electronic circuit and to convert AC voltage to DC voltage. What is a resistor? A resistor is an electronic component that is used to limit the flow of current in an electronic circuit. What is a capacitor? A capacitor is an electronic component that stores energy in an electric field and is used in electronic circuits for filtering and energy storage. What is an inductor? An inductor is an electronic component that stores energy in a magnetic field and is used in electronic circuits for filtering and energy storage. What is a transformer? A transformer is an electronic component used to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another through electromagnetic induction. What is a voltage divider? 
A voltage divider is a circuit that divides a voltage into smaller voltages using two or more resistors. What is a current source? A current source is an electronic component that produces a constant current regardless of changes in the load. What is a voltage source? A voltage source is an electronic component that produces a constant voltage regardless of changes in the load. What is a transistor? A transistor is an electronic component used for amplification and switching of electrical signals. What is a field effect transistor or FET? A field effect transistor is a type of transistor that uses an electric field to control the flow of current. What is a bipolar junction transistor or BJT? A bipolar junction transistor is a type of transistor that uses both electrons and holes to control the flow of current. What is a microcontroller? A microcontroller is a small computer on a single integrated circuit that is used for controlling and monitoring electronic systems. What is a programmable logic controller or PLC? A programmable logic controller is a type of industrial computer used for controlling and automating manufacturing processes. And that's it for our Electronics Engineering Licensure Exam Reviewer. We hope that this video has helped you improve your knowledge and skills in electronics engineering. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.